Chapter 3, The Business of Insurance Title 1 Insurance Companies, Organization, Capitalization and Authorization Section 190 For purposes of this code, the term insurer or insurance company shall include all partnerships, associations, cooperatives or corporations, including government-owned or controlled corporations or entities, engaged as principals in the insurance business, accepting mutual benefit associations. Unless the context otherwise requires, the term shall also include professional reinsurers defined in Section 288. Domestic companies shall include companies formed, organized or existing under the laws of the Philippines. Foreign company when used without limitation shall include companies formed, organized, or existing under any laws other than those of the Philippines. Section 192 no corporation, partnership, or association of persons shall transact any insurance business in the Philippines except as agent of a corporation, partnership or association authorized to do the business of insurance in the Philippines, unless possessed of the capital and assets required of an insurance corporation doing the same kind of business in the Philippines and invested in the same manner unless the commissioner shall have granted it a certificate to the effect that it has complied with all the provisions of this code. Mutual insurance companies, the law also provides for the procedure for mutualization of domestic stock life insurance companies. A new provision on RA 10607 is on demutualization or conversion of mutual insurance companies into stock corporations, ICP, as amended by RA 10607, Section 280. UST Golden Notes 2019, 2006 Bar Exam. Qualification to engage in an insurance business, 1. Possess the capital and assets required of an insurance corporation doing the same of business in the Philippines and invested in the same manner. 2. Obtain a certificate from the insurance commissioner that such persons have complied with all the provisions of law which an insurance corporation doing business in the Philippines and required to observe. Note, agent of the insurer is exempt from the above requisites. Requirements to obtain Certificate of Authority, Perez, 2019, 1. The company is qualified under the laws of the Philippines, 2. That grant of such authority is justified in the light of local economic requirements, 3. The direction and administration, as well as the integrity and responsibility of the organizers and administrators, the financial organization and the amount of capital reasonably assure the safety of the interest of the policyholders and the public. 4. If newly organized as a stock corporation, it must have paid up capital of 1 billion pesos. If already doing business as of June 30, 2013, it must have net worth of 250 million pesos and must have an additional of 300 million pesos in net worth by December 31, 2016 and by December 31, 2022, an additional 400 million in net worth. 5. If organized as a mutual company, it must have available total members equity in an amount to be determined by the insurance commission above all liabilities for losses reported expenses, taxes legal reserve, and reinsurance of all outstanding risks, and the contributed surplus fund equal to the amounts required of stock corporation. 6. The commissioning may, as a pre-licensing requirement of a new insurance company, in addition to the paid-up capital stock, required the stockholders to pay in cash to the company in proportion to their subscription interests to contributed surplus fund of not less than 100 million pesos. 7. If required by the commissioner, such company must submit to him a business plan showing the company's estimated receipts and disbursement, as well as the basis therefore, for the next succeeding three years. In White Gold Marine Services Inc. v. Pioneer Insurance and Surety Corporation it was held that state regulation is necessary since a contract of insurance involves public interest. Thus. No insurer or insurance company is allowed to engage in the insurance business without a license or a certificate of authority from the Insurance Commission. Title II, Solvency Section 200 
an insurance company doing business in the Philippines shall at all times maintain the minimum paid up capital, and net worth requirements as prescribed by the Commissioner. Such solvency requirements shall be based on internationally accepted solvency frameworks and adopted only after due consultation with the insurance industry associations. Whenever the aforementioned requirement be found to be less than that herein required to be maintained, the Commissioner shall forthwith direct the company to make good any such deficiency by cash, to be contributed by all stockholders of record in proportion to their respective interests, and paid to the Treasurer of the company, within 15 days from receipt of the order, provided, that the company in the interim shall not be permitted to take any new risk of any kind or character unless and until it make good any such deficiency, provided further, that a stockholder who aside from paying the contribution due from him, pays the contribution due from another stockholder by reason of the failure or refusal of the latter to do so, shall have a lien on the certificates of stock of the insurance company concerned appearing in its books in the name of the defaulting stockholder on the date of default, as well as on any interests or dividends that have accrued or will accrue to the said certificates of stock. Until the corresponding payment or reimbursement is made by the defaulting stockholder. Section 201. No domestic insurance corporation shall declare or distribute any dividend on its outstanding stocks unless it has met the minimum paid up capital and net worth requirements under Section 194 and except from profits attested in a sworn statement to the Commissioner by the President or Treasurer of the corporation to be remaining on hand after retaining an impaired. A. The entire paid up capital stock. B. The solvency requirements defined by Section 200. C. In the case of life insurance corporations, the legal reserve fund required by Section 217. D. In the case of corporations other than life, the legal reserve fund required by Section 219 and E. A sum sufficient to pay all net losses reported, or in the course of settlement, and all liabilities for expenses and taxes. Any dividend declared or distributed under the preceding paragraph shall be reported to the Commissioner within 30, 30, days after such declaration or distribution. If the Commissioner finds that any such corporation has declared or distributed any such dividend in violation of this section, he may order such corporation to cease and desist from doing business until the amount of such dividend or the portion thereof in excess of the amount allowed under this section has been restored to said corporation. The Commissioner shall prescribe solvency requirements for branches of foreign insurance companies operating in the Philippines. Title 3, Assets Section 202 in any determination of the financial condition of any insurance company doing business in the Philippines, there shall be allowed and admitted as assets only such assets legally or beneficially owned by the insurance company concerned as determined by the Commissioner which consist of a. Cash in the possession of the insurance company or in transit under its control, and the true and duly verified balance of any deposit of such company in a financially sound bank or trust company duly authorized by the Banco Central in Palapnas. b. Investments in securities, including money market instruments, and in real property acquired or held in accordance with and subject to the applicable provisions of this code and the income realized therefrom or accrued thereon. c. Loans granted by the insurance company concerned to the extent of that portion thereof adequately secured by non-speculative assets with readily realizable values in accordance with and subject to the limitations imposed by applicable provisions of this code. d. Policy loans and other policy assets and liens on policies, contracts or certificates of a life insurance company in an amount not exceeding legal reserves and other policy liabilities carried on each individual life insurance policy, contract or certificate. e. The net amount of uncollected and deferred premiums and annuity considerations in the case of a life insurance company which carries the full mean tabular reserve liability. f. Reinsurance recoverable by the seating insurer, 1. From an insurer authorized to transact business in this country the full amount thereof or, 2, from an insurer not authorized in this country, 
in an amount not exceeding the liabilities carried by the seating insurer for amounts withheld under a reinsurance treaty with such an authorized insurer as security for the payment of obligations thereunder if such funds are held subject to withdrawal by, and under the control of, the seating insurer. The commissioning may prescribe the conditions under which a seating insurer may be allowed credit, as an asset or as a deduction from loss and unearned premium reserves for reinsurance recoverable from an insurer not authorized in this country but which presents satisfactory evidence that it meets the applicable standards of solvency required in this country. g. Funds withheld by a seating insurer under a reinsurance treaty, provided reserves for unpaid losses and unearned premiums are adequately provided. h. Deposits or amounts recoverable from underwriting associations, syndicates and reinsurance funds or from any suspended banking institution, to the extent deemed by the Commissioner to be available for the payment of losses and claims and values to be determined by him. i. Electronic data processing machines, as may be authorized by the Commissioner to be acquired by the insurance company concerned, the acquisition cost of which to be amortized in equal and well amounts within a period of 5, 5, years from the date of acquisition thereof. J. Investments in mutual funds, real estate investment trusts, salary loans, unit investment trust funds and special deposit accounts, subject to the conditions as may be provided for by the Commissioner. K. Other assets, not inconsistent with the provisions of paragraphs, A, 2, J, hereof, which are deemed by the Commissioner to be readily realizable and available for the payment of losses and claims at values to be determined by him in a circular, rule or regulation. Title 4, Investments Section 204 A life insurance company may lend to any of its policyholders upon the security of the value of its policy such sum as may be determined pursuant to the provisions of the policy. No insurance company shall loan any of its money or deposits to any person, corporation or association, except upon the security of any of the following. a. First mortgage or deeds of trust of registered, unencumbered, improved or unimproved real estate, including condominiums. b. First mortgages or deeds of trust of actually cultivated, improved and unencumbered agricultural lands in the Philippines. c. Purchase money mortgages, lease purchase agreements or similar securities executed or received by it on account of the sale or exchange of real property acquired pursuant to sections 206 and 208. d. Bonds or other instruments of indebtedness issued or guaranteed by the government of the Philippines or its political subdivisions authorized by law to incur such obligations or issue such guarantees or of government-owned or controlled corporations and instrumentalities including the Banco Central and Polipnes or e. Obligations issued or guaranteed by universal banks, commercial banks, offshore banking units, Investment houses or other financial intermediaries duly registered with the Banco Central Link Palapnas or F. Obligations issued or guaranteed by foreign banks or corporations, each of which shall have total net worth of at least 150 million US dollars or such other higher net worth as may be prescribed by the Insurance Commission, as shown in their financial statements as of the immediately preceding fiscal year or G. Assignments of monetary instruments such as cash deposits, deposit certificates or other similar instruments of universal banks, commercial banks, investment houses or other financial intermediaries duly registered with the Banco Central Link Palapnas or H. Pledges of shares of stock, bonds or other instruments of indebtedness specified in Section 209 nor I. Chattel mortgages over equipment not more than 3. 3 years old and j. Such other security as may be approved by the Commissioner. Section 205 No loan by an Title 5, Reserves Section 216 Every life insurance company, doing business in the Philippines, shall annually make a valuation of all policies, additions thereto, unpaid dividends and all other obligations outstanding on the 31st day of December of the preceding year. All such valuations shall be made according to the standard adopted by the company, 
as prescribed by the Commissioner in accordance with internationally accepted actuarial standards, which standard shall be stated in its annual report. Such standard evaluations shall be according to a standard table of mortality with interest to be determined by the insurance commissioner. When the preliminary term basis is used, the term insurance shall be limited to the first policy year. The results of such valuations shall be reported to the commissioner on or before the 30th day of April of each year accompanied by a sworn statement of a designated company officer and stating the methods and assumptions used in arriving at the values reported. Section 217 The aggregate net value so ascertained of the policies of such company shall be deemed its reserve liability, to provide for which it shall hold funds and secure investments equal to such net value above all its other liabilities and it shall be the duty of the Commissioner, after having verified, to such an extent as he may deem necessary, the valuation of all policies in force, to satisfy himself that the company has such amount in safe legal securities after all other debts and claims against it have been provided for. The Reserve Liability for Variable Contracts defined in Section 238 shall be established in accordance with actuarial procedures that recognize the variable nature of the benefits provided, and shall be approved by the Commissioner. Section 218 Every life insurance company, conducted on the mutual plan or a plan in which policyholders are by the terms of their policies entitled to share in the profits or surplus shall on all policies of life insurance heretofore or hereafter issued, under the conditions of which the distribution of surplus is deferred to a fixed or specified time and contingent upon the policy being in force and the insured living at that time, annually ascertain the amount of the surplus to which all such policies as a separate class are entitled, and shall annually apportion to such policies as a class the amount of the surplus so ascertained, and carry the amount of such apportioned surplus plus the actual interest earnings and accretions to such fund, as a distinct and separate liability to such class of policies on and for which the same was accumulated. And no company or any of its officers shall be permitted to use any part of such apportioned surplus fund for any purpose whatsoever other than for the express purpose for which the same was accumulated. Section 219 Every insurance company, other than life shall maintain a reserve for unearned premiums on its policies in force, which shall be charged as a liability in any determination of its financial condition. Such reserves shall be calculated based on the 24th method. Title 6, Limit of Single Risk Section 221 No insurance company other than life, whether foreign or domestic, shall retain any risk on any one subject of insurance in an amount exceeding 20% of its net worth. For purposes of this section, the term subject of insurance shall include all properties or risks insured by the same insurer that customarily are considered by non-life company underwriters to be subject to loss or damage from the same occurrence of any hazard insured against. The commissioning may issue regulations providing for a maximum limit on the overall retained risks of insurers to serve as a catastrophe cover requirement for the same. Reinsurance ceded as authorized under the succeeding title shall be deducted in determining the risk retained. As to surety risk, deduction shall also be made of the amount assumed by any other company authorized to transact surety business and the value of any security mortgaged, pledged or held subject to the surety's control and for the surety's protection. What is Bank Assurance? Insurance Code of the Philippines provides the following, Section 375. The term Bank Assurance shall mean the presentation and sale to bank customers by an insurance company of its insurance products within the premises of the head office of such bank duly licensed by the Banco Central Inc. Pilipinas or any of its branches under such rules and regulations which the Commissioner and the Banco Central Inc. Pilipinas may promulgate. To engage in bank assurance arrangement, a bank is not required to have equity ownership of the insurance company. No insurance company shall enter into a bank assurance arrangement unless it possesses all the requirements as may be prescribed by the Commissioner and the Banco Central Link Pilipinas. No insurance product under this section, whether life or non-life, 
shall be issued or delivered unless in the form previously approved by the Commissioner. Section 376 Personnel tasked to present and sell insurance products within the bank premises shall be duly licensed by the Commissioner and shall be subject to the rules and regulations of this Act. Section 377 The Commissioner and the Banco Central Link Polipinas shall promulgate rules and regulations to effectively supervise the business of bank assurance. Is the bank may engage in an insurance business? No, the bank itself will not engage in insurance business because it is prohibited under the general banking law to engage in insurance business, Sundian and Aquino, 2017.